Moving right along. Hey y'all and welcome back. In this video, I'd like to go ahead and talk briefly about the five individual Synoxys plugins that are included with Superior 2. First on the list, I'd like to go ahead and talk about the five band EQ. Now, as you can see, there are five bands. Each of these parameters are adjustable a few different ways. For starters, you can go ahead and click and drag up or down on each parameter. In addition to that, you can go ahead and grab on the anchor point and drag it wherever it needs to be. And also, you can put your cursor over the number, and if you have a mouse wheel, you can turn your mouse wheel. Should you need to edit the parameters in smaller increments, you can do so by holding the shift key on your keyboard, dragging up or dragging down, or you can use your mouse wheel. If you would like a parameter to go back to its default value, if you're on a Mac, you can hold the command button or control on a PC and click on that parameter. And if you get to a point where you just want to start completely over, go right here to the presets menu and just choose default and all of the parameters will go back to their default position. Going back into the presets menu, you'll find that this is where your user presets are stored as well as the familiar options we've seen before, save as, save, delete, manage and find, or work explore. In the top right hand corner, you're gonna see the bypass button and the close button. The next plugin that I'd like to talk about is the filters plugin. This is a high pass and low pass filter. To make adjustments, you can go ahead and turn the frequency knobs. If you need a more detailed adjustment, drag away from the knob and then slowly turn. You can do the same thing right here with this frequency knob as well. Pressing command on a Mac and clicking will return the frequency knob to its default value. You can also do this by control clicking on a PC. Next is the type option, and this will set the filter resonance mode, whether it be low, medium, high, or rude. And you can see it right there. Next is the slope, and this switches between filter gradients. In the presets menu, you'll see the same thing as we did before with the EQ. Default setting will turn everything back to its default location. If you decide to save a user preset, this is where you will find it. And below is the save as, save, delete, and manage and finder or explorer options. In the top right hand corner, we'll find the bypass switch and finally the close switch. So next on the list is going to be the gate. You can edit parameters such as a threshold, hold, attack, release, and range by clicking and turning the knob. If you need a more intricate edit, you can click and pull away from the knob and then turn. If you would like to return that parameter to its default position, go ahead and press command on a Mac or control click on a PC. By placing your cursor over a knob, if you have a mouse wheel again, you can go ahead and make adjustments as such. And holding the shift button, you can make more intricate adjustments as well. To allow a mic channel or a bus channel to control the way another channel is processed, Synoxys has gone ahead and included a side chain option at the top of the gate, and then choose which channel you would like to receive information from. And as with the other plugins, should you decide you want to get everything back to its default position, just go ahead and click right there. Also, if you decide later on you'd like to go ahead and save any presets, this is where you'll find them. And then we also have Save As, Save, Delete, and Manage and Finder or Explore. Up in the top right hand corner, once again, we'll find the bypass switch and the close button. So before I show you the next plugin, which is the compressor, I want to go ahead and do a couple of things. For starters, I want to put the plugin on the overhead channel because I want to give you an example of something real quick. But before I give you any example, let's have a quick geography lesson. On this particular compressor, you're going to find all the usual parameters such as threshold, the ratio, release, attack, Here's a makeup gain knob, and here's your auto makeup button. Now, when you increase the ratio, you'll come to two settings, the first being limit. 
And this, in essence, turns this compressor into a limiter. And then if you continue to increase it, you'll see that it goes to an over setting. Now, the best example I can give of this is that it is a compressor on steroids, all right? It just really overdrives the compressor, almost like if you were to overdrive an amplifier or something. But I'm going to give you an example of it in just a moment so you can hear it. And in the presets menu, you'll have the usual things that we've had on all the other plugins, such as default. This allows you to get everything back to its default location. Should you decide to save any presets, here's where you'll find them. You have save as, save, delete, manage, and finder, or explore. Now, if you scroll over any of the knobs, you can go ahead and utilize your mouse wheel if you have one. If you need to make a more intricate edit, you can hold your shift key on your keyboard and use your mouse wheel. Or you can click and hold and drag outwards and then turn the knob like that for smaller increments. And the next thing I want to talk about is a side chain option. Now, this is where I want to give you an example so you can hear what a side chain can do. I want to go ahead and choose as my input source the kick drum in channel. And let's go ahead and increase this threshold to a really ridiculous amount, but it'll give you an example nonetheless. Let me let you hear what this groove sounds like without any compression at all. All right, you get an idea. Now let's go ahead and cut the bypass off. And now let me let you hear it. See? You hear the difference there? It makes it pump a lot, actually. But that's why I have the exaggerated setting that I do right here. Now, the next thing that I want to go ahead and show you is, let's go ahead and cut the side chain off. But I want to solo this out so you can hear what the ratio will do whenever it turns into a limiter and then the over setting as well. But check it out. Let me go ahead and cut the ratio down a little bit and let's press play and I want you to check it out. See, that's going over the top. Now we're about to go really over the top. See that there? But nonetheless, I thought it would be a good idea to let you hear what it can do, okay? But don't take my word for it. I know I've said this earlier, but, you know, get out there and, and really start messing around with this because you can really be creative with this, okay? And the next thing up here in the right-hand corner, we'll find the bypass button, and then we'll find the close button. Boom. So next on the list is going to be the transient plug-in. Now, don't let the simplistic nature of this plugin fool you because this is quite a powerful plugin, in my opinion. And this is probably my favorite as well. You'll see you have just two knobs here. You have one that controls the attack and another that controls the sustain. Now, this is pretty much similar to a compressor, but it's more musical, in my opinion. You can do more things with it. Now, the way that I use it may not be the way somebody else would use it, and I'll show you that in a minute. But let's go ahead and do a quick geography lesson. Like I said, this knob here controls attack. And as mentioned before, you can control it with your mouse wheel if you have one. If you need to make more intricate movements, go ahead and hold the shift key or click and drag outwards and then go ahead and move in a circular motion. Same thing with the sustain. You can control it with your mouse wheel. Press and hold shift key to make intricate settings or click and drag outwards. You can have the same effect. To return the knob back to its default position, go ahead and press command click on a Mac or control click on a PC. And then up here in the preset section, once again, we'll see the default. This will put the dials back to their default position. Should you decide to save your preset, this is where you'll find it. And then we have save as, save, delete, manage, and find or explore. And once again, we'll also see a side chain on this plugin. Now let's go ahead and press play on our grooves and just mess around with the dials a little bit. See that there? Let me go ahead and start it over. It really can. It can tame a kick drum or a snare drum, or you can really make a snare drum sound over the top and very Saint Anger-ish. 
I hope I helped you out with the plugins. I really do appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Y'all get out there and start trying to mess around with these plugins and figure out what works for you and for your project. Remember, it's all about being creative with this stuff, okay? But y'all stick around because in the next section, we're going to go ahead and start talking about the bus sins.